All right, well, let's, um, let's discuss a piece of equipment that uh, we call a head setter. And I have it, I have the head setter on this horse right now. And a head setter is, is uh, similar to a, to a tie down, but it has um, uh, one big distinction in that a tie down works off a horse's nose and the head setter works off the horse's pole. It's more for uh, lowering a horse's pole than uh, anything else. Now, it does have a nose piece so that if a horse's nose goes way up or swings way out of, out of position, it will catch his nose and bring it back in. But that nose piece is floating. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't take effect unless the horse's head really goes out of position. Now I'll uh, step off and show you how we adjust this and how we put it on, uh, and then I'll demonstrate uh, how to use it. Oh, kiddo. The head setter is really designed to be used with um, a curb bit or a um, easy stop or uh, something like a, 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 a gag bit. Um, it's a good piece of equipment and basically it's just it's, it's to help solve problems if we have a horse with a high head or, to, or basically to prevent the problem from happening in the first place. Now I'll unsnap this. Take off my bridle here so you can get a good look at it. Okay, you see the head setter, it has a, uh, it has a nose piece that moves up and down, let the camera come in close on it. The nose piece can move up and down as, as well as bevel back and forth. And that's so that uh, it allowed, it'll, it'll, it'll give the nose more freedom, okay? And uh, its main function is to work on the pole area of the horse. Now, uh, this thing will fit most horses from, you know, horses that are 14 hands high to horses that are about 15 too. Um, uh, most of us are riding horses about that size. And it goes on, we put the head setter on first underneath the bridle. And this is true whether you're using it with a curb bit or a gag bit. Now the only exception uh, to that is if we're going to use it with an easy stop. If we're going to use it with an easy stop, the easy stop goes on first and the head setter goes on over the top of the easy stop. But for all other purposes, the head setter goes on first. Now we want to adjust this head setter and it's got a snap on it just like a, just like a tie down and it snaps into the, the D in the girth and you can snap it to the front D or the back D of the girth. That just gives you extra adjustment, okay? But we want to adjust it for most horses so that when the horse's head is in the proper position, it, it has no effect on him. He, he gets slack. But when his head goes out of position, takes the slack out, puts pressure on his pole area, and encourages him to drop his pole. So I'm just going to snap this. Now for this particular horse, um, this horse really wants to have a high head carriage. When he first came, uh, boy, I mean, it was a real problem. I mean, his head was way up there. You had to look around his, his neck to see where you were going. Um, and he's gotten a lot better through the use of this and the German Martingale, uh, but it's still not 100%. But for this horse, I'll have it a little more snug than I would for some other horses. You see, there's slack in there. Uh, if his head even goes up a little bit, it really starts to take effect. And what some horses will do, they'll drop their nose and bring their pole up at the same time, which will put even more slack in this. So, and that's what this horse does, and that's why I have it a little more snug than I would on some other horses. On your average horse, I'm going to lengthen this up a little bit. On your average horse, now his head's in normal position and there's a lot of slack in it. It's not going to take effect unless his head goes way up, okay? And I'm going to tighten this back up for this horse. Okay, now 
to um, the preparation that you should do with your horse before you ride him with this head setter, uh, it's kind of the same as we discussed with the German Martingale. You, before you ride him with this, you want him to know how to drop off of pressure, okay? So, you know, you might check him up, you might put a snaffle bit on him and check him up, just like, just like uh, you would with the uh, German Martingale. Um, or uh, you could just get on him and teach him to drop off your hands before you ever put the headsetter on him. Now, the very first time I, I'm gonna ride a horse with this, I'll adjust it a little longer than what I normally would. And I might even, and I might even turn him loose in, a, in the braking pen or in the arena and let him run around with it so that, let him, let him hit it a few times and learn to drop off of it just so it's no big surprise when you get on his back. Very seldom are you gonna have any problems with, with, with horse being really surprised by this, but it's just better to be safe than sorry. All right, well, I'm gonna get on this horse and demonstrate what we use it for. And here again, I would use this piece of equipment um, as a preventative. Any, anytime I'm gonna do, um, introduce a new maneuver that I think is gonna bring the horse's head up, I'll put this on him uh, just as insurance to let him know that it can't go up there in the first place. And what it does, what I like to do is, is if a horse's head goes out of position, I apply pressure with the bit. But when you're applying pressure with the bit, some horses are, are in, in the habit of moving the wrong direction off the pressure. You know, like, like I've had some horses, they come in training, you put pressure in their mouth, and they think, because of the way they were ridden before, that the way they escape pressure is to raise their head instead of lower it. Well, you know, that, that, that makes it really tough to uh, teach them the correct thing because the more pressure you put in their mouth, the more they raise their head. So if you put the, the head setter on them, there's only one direction their head can go to, 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 to get relief from the pressure and get the reward, and that is down, okay? So what I'll do is the very first ride, I'll put some pressure in the horse's mouth, and when he drops off of it, Right there, I'll give him the slack. I want to initially teach him that the way he gets his reward and relieves the pressure is for his head to go down, not up. Now see, he's really, this horse knows how to move off pressure. Now, on a green horse, you might have to hold that for a minute or two until he gets the idea, but the instant it starts to go down, you want to give him the, the release until he really knows that any kind of pressure in his mouth, head's supposed to go down. 